essential business writing skills and this is the module on rewrite for use the right word remember we're going to edit in this order first we're going to edit for completeness then for organization then for style then for correctness and correctness has multiple issues and the issue we're dealing with right now is choosing the right word when there are several that look very very similar and so these are commonly uh, uh, confused words so let's go ahead and do an exercise on this if you haven't already done so please pause the video download the use the right word exercise from the online workbook complete it and then continue or of course as always you can just do it on the fly here and just pause the video as we go along okay go ahead and do that now and here we go it's too bad we lost because we played good or well we played well we need well the adverb to modify the verb played good is the adjective that was a good report that was a good uh, comment uh, that was a good analysis those are all examples where we're using the adjective good to modify nouns but when we're modifying verbs we need to use the adverb well here's a trickier one this response is a typical but it is not unique or unusual this response is a typical but it is not unique or unusual atypical means not typical unusual means not usual typical and usual basically mean the same thing so a sentence that says this response is not typical but it is not not usual is a little contradictory the correct choice here is unique why is that the case atypical does not happen very often but unique only happens once unique is one of a kind and so that's the the difference here next up the personnel department continues its role of compiling reports for the federal government here we've got two words r-o-l-l r-o-l-e that are spelled differently they have different meanings but they sound the same those are called homonyms these are easy to get wrong even if you know the difference sometimes just through uh, sloppiness you'll get them wrong so you want to pay particular attention to homonyms the role that we want here is not the r-o-l-l -L, which is to roll a ball or a dinner roll but it's the r-o-l-e uh, what it does its purpose its role r-o-l-e here's another tricky one Part of the fun of any vacation is sight seeing. Here's some more homonyms C I T E, sight, S I G H T, sight, S I T E, sight. You can be very, very logical, employ great logic, and get this one wrong. And here's why I say that. Okay, first off, it's not sight, C I T E, so toss that one out. Now, is it S I G H T or S I T E? If you're thinking logically, you might say, well, S I T E, that means a location, a place, and so we're going location or place scene, so we're going sight scene, S I T E. Okay, good logic, wrong answer. The correct answer is S I G H T, sight scene. The word S-I-G-H-T has several definitions, but one of them is something to be seen, as in he's quite a sight in the morning before he cleans up. And that's the definition we're using here. We're going to see sights. We are going S-I-G-H-T seen. The lectern or podium was too high for the short speaker. The lectern or podium was too high for the short speaker. I sometimes have fun with this one in live seminars where I'll uh, ask for a show of hands uh, and, and everyone will get it wrong. I, I'm not kidding. Everyone will get it wrong. This is one of the most commonly confused words. The correct answer here is lectern. The podium is what you stand on and lots of people almost everybody gets this one wrong they say podium that's wrong. The podium is what you stand on. The lectern is what you stand behind okay that was a really tricky one let's go for an easier one now the residents of the complex have asked for more parking spaces the residents in this case it's the second one the people who live there ENTS the residents the first one ENCE that's where they live here's a commonly confused one please order more stationary for the office ARY or ERY stationary ARY stationary ERY the correct choice here is stationary ERY and here's a little memory device for this one you write letters LE you write memos ME you put them in envelopes EN you do all of that on stationary ERY 
Stationary ARY stays in place. Think of the long A stays in place like a stationary bicycle. Many people believe that affect and effect is the single most commonly confused word set. The closing of the plant will affect or effect house prices in the area. The closing of the plant will affect or effect house prices in the area. Here's your little decision rule. First off, is it a noun? If it's a noun, it's effect with an E. So if the sentence were to read the effect of the price increase, even if I pronounced it the affect of the price increase, unless we're using the very, very obscure psychological affect, whenever you've got a noun, it's effect with an E. But this is not a noun, this is a verb. So it could be either one. The verb affect means to change. The verb effect means to cause. So let's see, the closing of the plant will cause house prices in the area, the closing of the plant will change house prices in the area. It will change house prices in the area, so it is affect with an uh, A. What would be an example of effect as a noun? The closing of the plant will effect an increase in house prices in the area. It will cause an increase in house prices in the area. Truth be told, the verb affect is used much, much, much more often than the verb effect. Okay. Better communication among or between design and production will enable us to produce products more efficiently. Better communication between design and production will enable us to produce products more efficiently. Many people have heard that if it's two, it's between. If it's more than two, it's among. That is usually the case, but don't hang your head on that 100%. Here's why. Let me show you. Better communication among or between design, sales, and production will enable us to produce products more efficiency. The correct choice here is between. Between. When three or more entities relate to each other individually and equally rather than collectively, or when the relationship is not general, between is the correct choice. If it's a general sort of sharing, then it would be among. A discussion among members, you are among friends, choosing among many alternatives, and so on. But the trade agreement between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, NAFTA, you know, they're all equally participating. So don't hang your hat too uh, much on that. Two, it's between three or more, it's among. It's the case when it's general, but not when they're equal participants. Okay, the audit revealed a small amount or number of errors. The audit revealed a small number of errors. I'll get to why that is in just a second, but let's go ahead and do the next one. Diet beverages have fewer or less calories than regular drinks. Diet calories have fewer calories than regular drinks. The issue in both of these has to do with countability. If you can count, use number. If you can't count, use amount. If you can count, use fewer. If you can't count, use less. So there was a large amount of confusion. I can't count confusion. Uh, the room is less than half full. I can't count fullness. But there are fewer than 50 people in the room. I can count people. Next up, in her speech, she implied or inferred that the vote was going to be close. In her speech, she implied that the vote was going to be close. Both implied and inferred mean that there's been a leap of logic, there's been communication, but it has not been uh, explicit. The key thing is who's making the leap of logic. If it is the sender of the information, that person is implying things. If it is the receiver of that person, of the information, that person is re inferring things. So the speaker implies, the writer implies, the listener infers, the reader infers. So in this case, she's speaking in her speech, so she implied. When the sender of communication implies something, that's an implication. When the receiver infers something, that is an inference. Here's a tricky one. We need to redesign the stand so that the catalog is eye level instead of laying or lying on the desk. We need to redesign the stand so that the catalog is eye level instead of laying or lying on the desk. Well, first off, let's look at the difference between lay and lie. 
Lay means to place. It needs an object. And when we go into the different tenses, I lay the book, present tense. I laid the book, past tense. I had laid the book. I am laying the book. Now, lie means to recline or to rest or to stay. It cannot take an object. So I lie down. Yesterday, I lay down. There's the past tense, and that's why this is so confusing. The past tense of lie is lay. I had lain down. I am lying down. The real uh, easy trick to use here is, is there an object or is there not an object? If there is an object, it's lay or one of the conjugations of lay, laid, had laid, am laying. If it does not have an object, it's lie or one of the conjugations of lie. So let's go ahead and revisit that sentence. We need to redesign the stand so that the catalog is eye level instead of laying or lying on the desk, there is no object there. There's no object, so it is lying on the desk. The settlement isn't yet in writing. If one side would want to back out of the oral or verbal agreement, it could. The absolute rigid by the book correct answer is oral. However, almost everybody uses verbal to mean spoken out loud, so that is equally acceptable, although if you wanted to be absolutely super duper rigid, you'd say, okay, oral. Oral means out loud, verbal means with words, although in the common usage, it means out loud as well. Okay, here's another effect, affect. We were all affected by the budget cuts. We were all affected by the budget cuts. We were all caused by the budget cuts. We were all changed by the budget cuts. We were all changed by the budget cuts, affected with N-A. Oh, here's another very, very, very commonly confused set. Several customers ask that we carry more campus merchandise, i.e. or e.g. hats, cups, pennants, etc. i.e. means that is. e.g. means for example. So if you're going to explain a little bit more about what follows that is, you would use IE. If you were going to give specific examples, you would use EG. So we've got hats, cups, pennants, etc. Those are specific examples, so EG. Now, what would be an example of IE? Items carrying the school logo. I'm explaining what I mean by campus merchandise. That is, items carrying the school logo. We have investigated all of the possible solutions, accept or accept adding a turning lane. Unless you're getting a little sloppy here, you're probably going to get this one right. It is accept. But that's when a lot of people get wrong when they are not focusing. The author cites, cites, cites four reasons for computer phobia. The very, very first one cites with a C. One of the basic principles of business communication is write or write the way you speak. One of the basic principles, P-L-E-S, of business communication is W-R-I-T-E, write the way you speak. Now this begs the question of principle P-A-L or principle P-L-E. The head of a school, P-A-L or P-L-E, that's P-A-L of primary or chief importance, the principal issue, that's PAL. An authorized agent, she is a principal with the insurance company, she is a principal with the accounting firm, PAL. Financial capital, interest plus principal, that's PAL. In fact, they're all PAL. The only definition of principal, PLE, is a fundamental belief. Another very, very similar one is capital, uh, capital T-A-L or capital T-O-L. The city, New York, Boston, Honolulu. Well, actually, those aren't good. New York's not the capital. Boston and Honolulu are. But capital would be T-A-L, the, uh, the city that's the, the head of the state government. How about this one? Wealth. Capital accumulation. That is T-A-L. How about a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence? That is T-A-L. How about first rate? That's a capital idea. T-A-L. How about punishable by death? Capital punishment. 
T-A-L. They are all T-A-L. The only definition of T-O-L, the only time you ever use capital T-O-L, is when you talk about the building, the state capitol building or the U.S. capitol building in Washington, D.C. That's it. Unless you're talking about the building, it is capital T-A-L. I implied or inferred from the article that interest rates would go up. The key word here is from. I'm reading the article. Since I'm reading the article, since I'm receiving the information, I am inferring that. So I inferred from the article. Here's a tricky one. Marketing plans are generally composed or comprised of goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics. This one is really, really tricky. Uh, first, I'll, I'll give you the answer, and then we'll see why. Marketing plans are generally composed of goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics. Now here's the difference between compose and comprise. The parts compose or make up the whole. The whole comprises or consists of the parts. The whole is composed of or is made up of the parts. Yeah, that's tricky. They're very, very close. So you got to look at that. Okay, let's see. The marketing plans, okay, the marketing plans are the whole. Uh, goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics, those are the parts. But they're composed of. They're composed of. The whole is composed of. The marketing plan is composed of, is made up of the parts. So that's what's going on there. Here's another principle. The principal variable in the market test is the copy strategy change. Remember, only a fundamental belief is PLE. Everything else is PAL. The main variable, the chief variable, the primary variable, the principal, PAL. And here's one last one. Formal training programs complement on the job opportunities for professional growth. Complement with an I or complement with an E. If they go well with, and that's what we're talking about here, they complement with an E. Some of those commonly confused words are a lot easier if you just remember the simple little memory tricks uh, and you don't get sloppy. Okay, that'll do it for commonly confused words. Next video deals with visual appeal, making our document look as good as it can.